Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna take care of the editing part of this video. Some disclosure first, I didn't get paid for the video, but I got paid for the spot I'm showing you the edit from. And it's the second time I'm recording this because I saw that it's quite a lot more of, of time needed to show every detail of the editing. So it's a, more like a quick overview so you get the idea how I did it and then you can ask in the comments maybe if there's something you want to go more deeper then you can write it to me in the comments and maybe I can do another video to uh, cover exactly this part because otherwise it will take 30 minutes and I don't think you want to watch a 30 minutes video so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so we start in Da Vinci. As you can see, I got already open the coin that separated from the background. I did the separation of the coins in Da Vinci because I like the key much more than only have the option to use key light. You go in the fusion tab and there it's the median that's coming, the, the footage coming in. So press one, then you see that came in. And then we only use the ultra key. I only picked uh, uh, the background and that's it. You already can see that it does a great job and we got some reflection and at this point right here you can see that it's disappearing because I have the reflection of the green from the background but that's not a problem because we want the coin to reflect the background so in the color tab I'm gonna show you what I did that's the footage that came in I only put on a curve that is putting the the blacks to the to the black and the highlights to the highlights I could also use a lot for it but I like to have the option to play with it more so that's why I'm pushing it myself and you see got everything in a nice range not too much light and no blacks are gone that's what you get out and then I saturate a little bit and we got our our gold but as you can see up here that's the first attempt with strings. That was before the client told me that we needed in one and a half weeks instead of whenever I have the time to. So later I did this with a hook again. See, and it's always important to film a clean plate that's the exact, the exact background without anything in front because then you're faster putting a mask here and it's the perfect background you don't need to stamp anything but we will see this in after effects and that's how i'm gonna switch over to after effects i don't know why i'm pulling this i think maybe it's better this after effects <laughs> so now we are in after effects and this is probably the most intense shot in the whole commercial we start with the gold then it's spinning upwards the coin is uh, jumping out and it's changing from the golden to the silver to the copper coin with the transition and then we're landing back in the headphone and you see that's my transition to the next section it's only a mask and I scale it and put a nice uh, white ring on it that's scaling with it to, to hide the transition edge and with this we are transitioning to the next scene so let's see what I did there I first of course put every one of the three headphones in a comp and aligned them so that they move the same. I used uh, uh, the speed ramping for it, the time remapping and that's how I created an even movement between those three so it's easier for me to translate everything between those three headphones. You will see what I mean. So this is the golden, it's, it's spinning around and you see the, the bottom edge is missing. That's because it's moving upwards and usually there's no space. So I put down here 
and four color gradient with the colors of the headphone plate and try to align it as good as I can so it's as if we got more background. So this is only the spinning part and from there we come to the coin. So this is the coin jumping around. I uh, masked away the stick on the bottom and now we're in the in the comp where the transition happens between the coins. So it's a transition between the golden, the silver and the come on, copper one. You see it's changing pulse, natural. Basically what I did is I just align only aligned the, the coins and then made a transition with a luma key. So I can show you this is the the footage. I think I got it from from Envato. So we got this transition, and I only, as I told you, I put this on top and then do a luma key because where it's black, it's transparent. Where it's white, it's visible. That's the same with the alpha key, but in another way. And yeah, that's how I. Uh, made a transition between those coins and in the next comp there's only some cleaning because on the back side there are of course some uh, 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 some issues from the from creating the coin but in the end you will never see this because this side is glued into the headphone and you can see it right here when I put my cloning stamps off this was the back side and this is after I cleaned it because I wanted it to be clean. And my wife wanted it to be clean. My wife was annoying. I said, clean it, clean it more. <laughs> okay, so that's why I made. Here, 172 cleans. And ah, here is another clone. Here, there are 338. But that's not much. I worked in, in visual effects and I stamped a lot sometimes. <laughs> And as you see right here in the background, this is the original. This is what I did. Took a, a solid, made a mask, and animated the mask with the background. And as you can see, I changed the light, uh, the, the color of the, of the solid, so it works with the light as if it really was there, because of course we want to tell the story that it is there. And then I used Shadow Studio 2, great tool. I just animated it with it and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's in the background, it's not that important, but of course if there was a coin that would be wrong. <laughs> so that's basically the first shot. It's maybe not the easiest, but it's not hilarious. <laughs> you can do that too. As you can see, we are now in the, in the transition part. I put all the headphones in the same spot to do the transition between those and I did it with masks. We're starting with the copper one and then I push simply push in some masks that show the silver one and the golden one from top and then I let them go uh, uh, let them change to the to the next headphone we want to see. So there's one more thing to mention those coins held on my uh, uh, turntable only because I drilled a hole in it from the bottom and the hole of course needs to be covered so I took the same footage at the same space only duplicated it and pushed it down a little I have this texture here and it's covering the hole underneath it so that's the main idea and then I only put a, in the mask here it is and that's it with the mask and because of the it's the same footage the transition is even because the the light I put it I, I took it from right above so the light stays the same the reflection stays the same because it's in the same space of the coin this one was quite tricky because I was an idiot and didn't film a clean plate if I filmed a clean plate it would have been really really easy so I only tell you what you need to do when you do it right. <laughs> so you film this and then you film a clean plate. And then you only use some masks and everything that is disturbing is gone because their cables were here and uh, uh, there was a cable right behind this and here. So that was 
pretty annoying to get this shot. What I forgot to mention is this token right here didn't exist at the beginning because they sent me the headphones and put in there the old token but they got a new one and that's that happens often with clients that you have to uh, uh, create something that they will do with the final project but they don't have it yet so in this case the original as logic was this token but they got the new version and they gave me the Photoshop data and I dragged it in. As you see, I did it with some reflection of the light so we, that we can explain the story again. You see, it's, it's changing its color to, to a white because white is from the left and red is from the right. And that's how I animated it. And I simply went into Mocha and dragged it in and at the edges it has a little uh, it was a little problematic but I did it by hand in the edges okay so that you know this wasn't there that's how I made it I hope you like it it's my first behind the scenes editing tutorial and I have greatly respect uh, respect for everybody that ever did a uh, an editing um, behind the scenes because Man, <laughs> it's hard, <laughs> but it's fun. I hope you like it. And as I told you, it would be awesome if you let me know in the comments below that you, if you want to see a section more closely, because th I only had time for this overview and I think even this was too long right now. So I'm gonna stop it right here. And thank you for your time. Like, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think about my work and See you next time. Macht ihr da bitte die Tür noch zu? Ob ihr die Tür da jetzt bitte noch zumachen könnt? Door is still open. Du leuchtest. Ja. Mit deinem Licht. Mhm. Du filmst was. Ja. Jetzt hast du es gesehen. Jetzt kannst du die Tür zumachen. Könnt ihr die Tür bitte wieder zumachen? Könnt ihr bei mir die Tür zumachen? Ob ihr da bitte die Tür jetzt noch zumachen könnt? Kannst du die Tür bitte zumachen? Okay, now the door is closed.